Hello guys and welcome back to Legos Island Summer 2021. So guys, today it is Tuesday, July 13th, 2021. Now before I get right into the video, I want to clarify something before, you know, anyone tells me I forgot about it. Two years ago today, on July 13th, 2019, Eagle Clug attacked Legos Island for the first time. And just where was did he attack for the first time here on the island? The resort itself, resulting in all three item moves for that day being blown up. If you guys have no clue what I'm talking about, here is the exact footage. Let's see. Whoa! Whoa! Holy frick! Evil Cluck wasn't kidding! I really am in danger with these items! So what did he give me? Hmm, let's see. <gasps> A flint and steel! Whoa! And look! Some of the items that we just gained a few days ago are gone! No! Oh no. What's next? What item is next? Alright, please don't let July 12th be any danger! Whoa! And even this is gone too! Look! Look what happened! Look! More of my items are disappearing alongside the resort and item moves! Whoa! Oh, look at this. This is really bad. Okay, please don't let July 13th be the same thing. Alright, come on, open it up! Oh! Yeah, that was not a good day for the island, let me tell you. I am glad that it's never happened again since. At least here in the resort. Well, he we did do some other attacks of the resort that weren't as bad as that. But I'm glad he ain't around now. Because my lord, I do not want that happening again. Ever. And it's honestly a good thing because that will never happen again. Alright everyone, I wanted to get that out of the way just because, um... I probably would have gotten comments saying I forgot to mention that, but nope! There you go, I mentioned it and I included footage. You're welcome! So, with that being said, everybody, I actually have even more updates for you today, too. You probably thought it was just going to be that little, you know, fun fact there. No, there's actually more to this episode than you realize. Earlier today, I made another few changes to the World Tour, but not as much as the previous update. For example, you guys see that up there? Yeah, that was never there before. You know what else wasn't there before? That item move either. That is the July 12th item move. And up there is the July 11th item move. Those were never there before. And um, I'll show you what I mean later when we head back to the airport. But first, let's make our way up to the waterfall. So yeah, apparently we are not actually done with Jamaica yet. Yeah, well, at least in this episode we will be. So yes, July 11th, let's open it up and see what we get. The yellow candle. So let's place it right here and let's get a flint and steel out to light them up. There we go. All right. And now we, this next one is actually going to require the water slide. So without further ado, let's make our way down to the water slide. Woo! Yeah! And stop, because here is our next item, July 12th. The Lime Candle. Let's place that right there. And of course, let's light those up. Now we don't need the foot and steel anymore, at least until the next episode. All right, everyone. Oh, right, uh, we're gonna take the boat back to, you know, the, you know, to the actual resort itself. We're gonna finish the water slide. All right, everyone, with that being said, uh, now we are officially done in Jamaica. So let's make our way back to the airport and see what our next country is. All right, we're back at the airport again, everybody. 
And actually, here's where I can clarify some changes once again regarding the world tour. Before I do, and before I ever forget again, let's grab the passport. Because uh, it says we're required to go to each country. And I've been breaking that rule pretty much every time until now. Our current location is the water park, as you can see. Going on our map, we actually have a few new changes. Yep, the water park is now officially our next country. It was originally meant to be the theme park. But I'll explain that reason later. For now though, the water park has been transformed into the Bahamas. I mean, I think that would have already become obvious. All right, now let's head over there now. All right, guys, we are now in the Bahamas, AKA the water park, which as you'll notice, pretty much looks exactly the same, aside from a few major differences, such as the palm trees and the sand, and of course, the Bahamas flags themselves. And of course, obviously the item moves around here. But besides all of those changes, everything else looks exactly the same. I think this is the least decorated themed country. I think this is the only place on the island that is the least decorated. I could be entirely wrong. Um, all right. Oh, right. Uh, we got to tour around the country first before doing the item, which I'm pretty sure you all can easily guess what's in that item booth. Come on, guys. It's tradition. But before again, uh, be uh, but before we do all of that, again, let's tour around the place and then we'll get to the item. So as you guys can see, again, the water park has been decorated as the Bahamas, or at least has been transformed into the Bahamas. So as you can see, there are palm trees around here, and I have used the Azilla leaves, and I also did a mix also not only between those, but of course the traditional jungle leaves as well, and of course I want to keep everything traditional here. But I did add some, I did put in something new with with the azilla, uh, azilla leaves on top of the palm trees instead of just jungle. So hey, that's new! Like, it's half jungle leaves and half azilla leaves. So hey, that's cool. So yes, what do you guys think of the cool amount of changes I did to the water park? At least this is the first few of them so far. Alongside, of course, you know, the flags themselves. Which, I hope you guys love them, because they look really cool. So with that being said, I really hope you guys love the design. And yes, down here is decorated too. I was going to originally change the um, uh, umbrellas to the uh, flat colors, which I might add, actually. <laughs> I might actually do that. I think I completely forgot to do that. I was going to, actually. But yep, there are more flags here. We got more palm trees. I hope you guys love this. Tell me, does this look like the Bahamas to you? Of course, aside from it, of course, being the water park, obviously. I tried my best. I like kinda I didn't even do any research on this country at all. I just know that um it's just a bunch of islands and stuff. And uh, how do I know the flag? Well, I don't know if you've seen it a while back, but I actually do have a, uh, a Bahamas shirt. Now, although I've actually never been to the Bahamas before, I don't remember how I got it, though. But I do have a shirt for it, which I'm actually wearing right now in real life. <laughs> anyway, uh, point is... I hope you guys love it down here in the water park, uh, the bottom part. And yes, those are all days we will get to soon, in the future. We're actually going to be spending the next three episodes here, meaning the 16th, 19th, and 22nd of July. Now let's just head over here. Yup, look how cool this looks. I know, it looks so awesome, right? I hope you guys love this. I know, this looks so cool, right? I definitely did a good job on this. 
I will say that. I hope you guys love what I did. And uh, that pretty much wraps up the uh, tour of the country. All right, guys. Now we can um, jump into um, our item. All right. I'll also show you all where all the item groups are. July 13th. This one should be very obvious. It says, Welcome to the Bahamas. And of course, oh, and it broke. I <laughs> ah, don't work. Oh, man. Hey, we have the flies all over the place. So, uh, whatever. Again, you guys know the deal by now. I do not care if they break. Because let's face it, they're always going to do that. Um, but hey, let's at least get a replacement door. I might fix it, though, at some point. Yep, there we go. There's the Bahamas flag, which is basically already all over the place. So, the item boosts here are the 14th, uh, July 15th. Uh, hold on, let me head down here. July 16th, that's on Friday, that's the next episode. Oh, and by then, all the summer banners will be here. July 17th, down there, that's this coming Saturday. Yep, that's on Saturday. Uh, July 18th, that's this coming Sunday. Yep, July 19th, that's um, this coming Monday. And July 20th, that's, that's a week from today. And then July 21st, that's next Wednesday. And lastly, next Thursday on July 22nd, which will be the third and last episode here, before moving on to the next country. So with that being said, that is pretty much it for this episode. But remember how I said I would explain why the theme park wasn't next, even though it was originally going to be? I'll show you now. All right, so here is the current status of the theme park. You might notice a few item booths are actually removed, such as the Roller Coaster Park one, the Game Park item booth, and of course the Pirate and Bulls um, item booth. The only ones still remaining include the Main Entrance item booth, the Medieval Park item booth, and the Time Travel Park item booth. The only reason those three still remain are actually because I've shortened the next country to three days instead of six. Now, I want to explain what the heck this is going to happen. So, my original plan for the next country after Jamaica was Japan. However, I only just remembered that the Olympics are being held there next week. So, yes, because next Friday on the 23rd is the Olympics for this year. And, of course, we all know that's being held in Japan, which is where they actually were meant to be last year, too. So, in celebration of that next week... I will be dedicating the next country to Japan, unlocking on the 23rd of July, which is the same day of the starting of this year's Olympics. So, that is because after the theme park, it was originally going to be the water park with the Bahamas. But now, I've swapped them, and now I am doing the water park first as the Bahamas. So, yep. Yep, which is already all the way over there. All right, everyone, and um, which means the item boosts here will all be done in a single episode. Yep, the July 25th episode will all be done right here in a single episode. So July 23rd will be right here, even though there's no sign yet. July 24th will be right here. And then July 25th will be right there. So it'll all be done in a single episode, just like the Jamaica one was. Before I changed it. And fun fact, that is actually going to be the only country in the entire world tour to actually be all in one single episode. It used to also be for Jamaica as well, until I changed it today. Reason behind that is just because what I just told you. So, yep. <laughs> My god, that's still not the way that I actually changed. Oh, and I do actually want to clarify, by going back to uh, 
the uh whoa, 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 whoa. what did I just do? Oh, oh oh I did this. Okay, there we go, back to the airport. Like going back to the airport here, you can see that now it has been changed from July 17th to July 23rd. And now you already know what the next country is, because the next one is Japan. So that would be very interesting. So with that being said, um, yeah, that's just one more update I wanted to show you. And uh, yeah. Anyway, how does it look on the tour map? Yo, that actually looks super cool. Seriously, that looks way too cool. Wait, why is it not showing the updated map? That's showing the updated version. I have no idea why it's not showing the updated version. Oh well. Alright, see you guys next time. Goodbye! Oh, and just to be clear, the changes you saw now, besides, of course, the upcoming summer banners on the 16th, are the last changes to the World Tour. No other changes will be made as of this episode and also as of the next episode. Alright, just wanted to clarify.